This is F Society IRC Podcast, a Mr. Robot show. I'm your moderator of this chat, Hiroja Shai. This is a special announcement for the season finale of Mr. Robot, which is called Zero Day. I will be uh, doing a live reaction for the West Coast feed of the show at uh, on Wednesday, 10 p.m. Pacific time of the show uh, via Periscope. I will have a link in the show notes, but basically, uh, if you're familiar with the Periscope app, basically all you have to do is you can follow me on Musings of the Shibe, uh, on my Twitter handle, and you can just look me up through Periscope, and I will be doing a live reaction of what is happening uh, on the show. I also will be through my Twitter feed and also asking the question on the Periscope, but through the Twitter feed, I will be asking five questions about Mr. Robot, uh, questions that go from easy to hard throughout the uh, live show in which you, if answered correctly and using the proper hashtag, which is uh, you answer the question, uh, Mr. Robot uh, Shy, all one word with the hashtag, I will enter you into um, a random generator, your your Twitter username, and you if you are picked, you get to uh, receive a Raspberry Pi as your gift. And basically, it's broken down like this. I, I enter your, your Twitter handle. For each question you have answered correctly, you get uh, one entry. So if you answer all five questions correctly, you get five entries. And depending on how many participants there are, you know, your odds could be in your favor or they could not be in your favor. And in the end, you will receive, whoever the winner is, a Raspberry Pi 2. And the Raspberry Pi 2 is the same device, which is a credit card size computer uh, board device that was used by F Society by Elliot to hack into Steel Mountain. This is the device that he wired into the climate control device, the, the air conditioning device uh, in the men's room in the executive lounge. Uh, you will have your own copy or your own version of that same device that was used on the show. So uh, that is my special announcement. You can find additional information like what the giveaway is about uh, through the show notes. Uh, if you have iTunes, Stitcher, uh, SoundCloud, or you can go to the group page, which is Mr. Robot F Society RIC group on Facebook. You can look it up and you can find it there and you'll find pinned to the group page the details of the giveaway. I will be, uh, again, I'll be doing the, the live reaction uh, via Periscope of what is happening uh, on the show. I'll be reacting and, and making some comments and answering uh, questions, asking and uh, answering questions if you have any questions in the feed, but asking the five questions uh, throughout the episode, uh, which will give you the opportunity to uh, receive the Raspberry Pi, which I'm purchasing through Amazon. So if you're an international person and you're watching and you're listening, you can too participate. Uh, if there's some reason for whatever reason Amazon is incapable of delivering in your area, which I find that hard to believe, I will give you a, the equivalent of an e-gift card for the tech place uh, in your area or the equivalent amount for the Raspberry Pi in Bitcoin if you're an international person and you win. Uh, but basically, it's coming through Amazon, and within you know two to three days, depending on your locale, you should have it in your your hands. I will DM the the winner of the the prize uh, to let them know, and I will make the announcement. And depending on how many people to participate, either it happen um, shortly after the episode or pretty much the following um, few hours afterwards. Um, I'll be using a random generator. Again, the random generator basically I enter all the the usernames. The random generator just a just kind of like the lotto. Whoever pops up is the winner, and you get your own Raspberry Pi too. And on your way to, I guess, either making robots or hacking glory, if you will. So that is the special announcement. Uh, thank you for listening, and I hope you enjoy the show, and I hope that it's going to be a very fun time uh, to be uh, watching the show. I'm very excited to see what happens, uh, if S Society is going to succeed or not. So thanks for listening, and until the live show. This has been a Herosha Shy Space Odyssey Network production. This is F Society IRC Podcast, a Mr. Robot show. I'm your moderator of this chat, Hiroja Shai. So this is my uh, theory episode. There's not really an item number to it. It's just my basic theories and expectations of what I think is going to happen for the Mr. Robot season finale, which is called Zero Day. So let's set the, the stage for this epic, no doubt epic finale for uh, Mr. Robot. Is it, 
which is called the episode is called Zero Day. Um, as we know, um, the episode was delayed due to the uh, shooting that occurred in Virginia, and because there is some aspect in the episode something similar to that, that that's going to play in, uh, in a factor into this this episode. Obviously, uh, that's something that's been revealed. Plus, the there was a countdown. Um, if you pay attention to any of the web virals that Mr. Robot has been doing throughout the show from the giveaway that they did to uh, various websites that they have where you can interact uh, online uh, with the show. They had a countdown where they showed the the alleged boyfriend, the cheating boyfriend, as uh, coming home, sitting down with some food in front of the television, and it looks like that there was a success you can say so i guess spoiler alert to some aspects of what happened on mr robot that has been revealed that is online um i will have a link in the show notes if it's still up and available uh for you to view but let's let's just talk about what was going on and first let's kind of set the stage um the players that are at play here um uh, in this show that in this episode is elliot who is our main protagonist that we know and we already know that he was a bit off you can say a bit um troubled and now we know that he's full on crazy schizophrenic he he is delusional and that he is in fact um very very sick mentally ill in in a sense because he has been having his delusion of his father who is the character mr robot throughout the series Uh, it was his father that he has been seen as mr robot and not only that but it appears that when mr robot was interacting with other players in the game you should say or on the program that it was actually Elliot who was doing this so he had no idea that he was in fact uh, being Mr. Robot when he interacted with Tyrell or with any of the other members of F Society not only that but Elliot has no idea what is real and what is not real and what he's actually been doing what was also revealed in the last episode mirroring is that Elliot is not only responsible for the creation of F Society but this whole plan was his idea. It was his idea that he came up with that the whole concept of F Society and the plan to take down Evil Corp. And the whole purpose of which is something that he has reiterated um, over and over again is that he wants to save the world. And by taking down Evil Corp, that's, that's what he's going to be doing. So basically what it comes down to is, is Elliot going to be very successful in acting and taking down Evil Corp? Then there's Tyrell. Uh, Tyrell is the former interim CTO of Evil Corp. He is also a hacker in his own right, or at least uh, someone who is computer savvy or a computer technician. Uh, We saw that when he attempted to gain access to the honeypot that uh, Gideon has set up. Uh, He used uh, Alexnix program to initiate into the server and to find out what was on there. And he was able to find the F Society DAT file, but he doesn't know what that file is. And one of his last last actions as an employee of Evil Corp was making sure that the, the honeypot was no longer off the network, but completely on the network and overriding any of Gideon's orders that uh, placed it on the honeypot. Even having a greater um, authority than, say, the false messaging that Elliot had done to the uh, server company to put that honeypot back into play. Not only that, but towards the end of the episode, uh, he met up with Elliot, revealed to Elliot that he's responsible for the murder of Shannon Nolans, but that he wants to know what, exactly what F Society is doing. He knows that Elliot is responsible for F Society and he wants in on the plan. Now, we have no idea what Tyrell's true motivations is, if he is actually. Uh, going to help F Society uh, take down Evil Corp. And the plan is to encrypt the uh, the D- Evil Corp database. Once they've initiated the hack and gained access and destroyed the hard drives, uh, the physical hard drives in the five different places, but also taking down the China backups, that they're going to encrypt the, the data and have a self-delete program where it's going to delete the, uh, the encrypted data. Uh, which is very different from what was explained earlier to us where Mr. Robot, I should say, said they were going to wipe out the data and thus erasing all the debt of 70% of the people in the world that Evil Corp possesses. Uh, then we have White Rose, who is responsible and is in control of the Dark Army. Uh, she is the one who set the timeline to where within 51 hours of her meeting with Elliot, they were going to initiate the hack. So not only was Elliot supposed to get the Honeypot server back online, 
uh, which is a bit of data that El, uh, White Rose revealed to Elliot. But that is when the plan, all the players on the board were going to enact the hack no matter what, basically. So we have the Dark Army in there. And we don't know what the motivation of the Dark Army is. Uh, we know that they are unethical, that they uh, will hack for anyone. They're basically hackers for hire. They'll do it for terrorists. They'll do it for uh, corporations. They'll do it for governments. They have no qualms. They have no moral code, according to Elliot. And so we don't know whether or not they are going to wipe out the China database, if they're going to be there, um, because after all, they had placed themselves off the board because Elliot threw a curveball on the, to them with a point pinning um, Kobe um, as responsible for the F Society ha- hack onto uh, the initial hack that the Evil Corp experience, and then it was a, a motivation, an unknown variable that placed a, a great deal of suspicion onto Elliot and all safe as a company in general. Uh, we also know that White Rose is responsible for, for taking care of Cisco, that uh, Cisco is part of the Dark Army, uh, that White Ro- Rose was the one that initiated that uh, play to put all safe uh, under a hack and monitoring because uh, White Rose was very concerned about Gideon, and thus that's how they got the information about the honeypot because Gideon was suspicious of Elliot. So we have White Rose. Um, very unknown factor in here whether or not um, they are going to participate in the hack but also whether or not they have their own alternative motives are they going to steal data are they going to participate in encryption are they going to have um, the other half of the keys and the actual encryption of the evil corp data is not going to occur so there's not going to be no uh, deletion program at all so there's a, a lot of uh, check marks or question marks there with White Rose um, then we have Darlene who is Elliot's sister, which is a reveal that we we received uh, in the episode prior to that, prior to marrying, in which um, not only has she been part of F Society from the beginning and knows that Elliot is not well and has been trying to help him stay well, but she's been participating from the very beginning in the creation and the formation of society. And her motivations is not only just revenge for the death of her father, um, just like Elliot's revenge against Evil Corp, but she also doesn't, you know, she has so has the same philosophies as Mr. Robot or their fathers about corporations and their evilness and the rich versus the poor and just taking down the one percenters. So she has a very kind of uh, anarchist philosophy of just wrecking and destroying everything. Uh, she wants to, in essence, destroy Evil Corp and uh, save the world just as Elliot. You can say she's almost a, a true believer in this principle uh, and then you have Angela who is the long term friend of Elliot and Darlene uh, someone that they consider family according to Darlene and she's the one who's responsible for not only Elliot getting hired on All Safe but uh, she in herself um, has been suing Evil Corp uh, she was able to blackmail in essence or not say blackmail but was able to convince Ter- Terry Colby to participate in her lawsuit against Evil Corp and because of the kind of power play that she did by basically lying saying that she's responsible for not safely securing the chain of custody for the DAF file that implicated Terry Colby, but she's been offered a position with Evil Corp by Terry Colby to basically take the same position that uh, Tyra Wellick had, which was the right-hand person of the... CTO of Evil Corp, which is Scott Knowles, and that she has 24 hours to take the job offer or, you know, continue on with her existence, you can say. Uh, she, Angela has uh, significant motivations in this because she is in a tremendous amount of debt. She no longer works for Allsafe and she thought she's out of a job, but she also would potentially would not be able to get a position with any kind of tech company because of her lawsuit, not only against Evil Corp, but what she is saying about not securing the DAF files successfully. And then you have Mr. Robot. Uh, Mr. Robot is a, I guess you could say, a figment of Elliot's imagination or a personality of Elliot. Uh, he did disappear towards the end of mirroring, but we don't know if he's going to reappear again. And we also don't know all the actions of Mr. Robot in and of itself because Elliot doesn't possess internally the knowledge of Mr. Robot. Uh, He is remembering a lot of things because for some reason or another, either he did this to himself or someone did it to him. Elliot doesn't remember his existence. This is why he didn't remember what Mr. Robot looked like, what his father looked like. Is why he didn't remember um, 
Darlene was as his sister. Uh, it also does, it explains uh, certain aspects of his personality. The fact that there are certain things about uh, missing time and him not understanding certain things about himself that he doesn't possess. And then we have some wild cards. Uh, we have Gideon, who is um, trying to save his company all safe. He's trying to protect it. Uh, he's very suspicious of Elliot. He thinks Elliot is somehow responsible for the hacks that have been happening to not only his company, but Evil Corp. Uh, he is attempting to try to prove it in some ways why he went to the data uh, the data erasing place that Elliot dropped those hard drives off of. Um, he found out that it was burnt down to a crisp. Uh, when he went to Evil Corp to, to talk to the CTO to explain to them that they need to put the honeypot back in place, he found out not only was Tyler Wellick um, fired, but the CTO, Nolan's wife, has been murdered and that that, that person is uh, no longer really at this media point in time making any type of decisions. And so, in essence, he's kind of ass out there. But... Gideon can still, um, he seems to have some kind of tech savvy. He might not be a, as strong of a hacker or a computer technician as Elliot, but he, I think, is going to try whatever he can to not only save all safe, but somehow try to thwart F society. Then you have Terry Colby, who made the job offer to Angela. Uh, we don't know if we're going to see him again in the season finale, but his um, existence and the fact that he still has uh, strong ties to Evil Corp even though he's participating in the lawsuit against them, that he could factor in in some fashion or another. Uh, then you have Scott Knowles, who blames, rightfully so, Tyler Wellick for the death of his wife. Uh, he's been persistent and assistant not only at Evil Corp that that is the case, but to the police. Uh, he could probably, no doubt, use his influence and his power to try to get the police to pursue Tyler Wellick in a more aggressive manner, maybe place an arrest warrant against him. So he factors in in a kind of almost a personal revenge scenario against Tyra Wellick for the death of his wife. Uh, then you have Joanna Wellick, who basically mandated to Tyler that he had to fix the situation uh, because he's not the CTO, because he murdered uh, Sharon Nolans, that sh he needs to somehow fix his mess or he can't come home. Um, so, and she has been, for the most part, except for the murder of Sharon, Sharon Nolans, his partner in crime and everything, his go-to uh, person to coordinate and figure out how, as a, in essence, a social climber within the Evil Corp Corporation, to gain not only access and influence, but to uh, maneuver in a way to where he could be the CTO of Evil Corp. And then you have, you know, the men in black. We don't know if they actually exist, if they're a figment of Elliot's imagination, or if there's somebody all along that has, in fact, been following Elliot. Um, because he's such an unreliable narrator and we don't know what is real and what is not, uh, there's a big question mark of their existence. And if they are real, are they aware of F society? Are they, are they aware of the Elliot's plan and are they participants in this plan? Are they monitoring this plan? Are they part of Evil Corp? That is uh, kind of a counter intelligence or a counter program to prevent this hack. Uh, we are unsure of what's going on there. It's just a figment of Elliot's paranoid uh, delusions that he's having. Then you have some low priority characters like Cisco and Ollie, who are the respective significant others of the women on the show, uh, whether or not they're going to participate in the season finale, whether it's, uh, are they going to factor in in implementing F Society's um, hack if Ollie is going to confess and explain to Gideon that the all safe hack, is re he's responsible for it and Angela was the one who initiated it. Is Cisco going to help in any fashion as a go-between between the Dark Army and F Society? Is he going to somehow save Darlene if things blow up in their faces as he expects it will happen because he's been trying to hint to Darlene that Dark Army cannot be trusted, that they don't have the same ethics or pie in the sky dreams that she has and taking down Evil Corp. And so you have these type of kind of wild card factors in itself. And basically it comes down to these three different groups. You have Evil Corp, which is the subject of the hack, this evil corporation, this big conglomerate whose data is about to be compromised in F Society, which is the hacker group of, you know, Trenton, Mosby, R Romero, uh, Darlene, and Elliot, and I guess, in essence, Mr. Robot as well. 
taking down Evil Corp. And then you have Dark Army led by White Rose with uh, Cisco as one of the known participants taking them out. And these three groups are basically combat combating to, you know, Evil Corp trying to save itself and F Society and Dark Army trying to take it down with possibly, I think the twist would be that Dark Army is going to somehow take the data um, from F Society or the Evil Corp's data. So there's a lot of factors going on in on this show leading up to it. I think personally, from what has been revealed and what is known, um, again, this is kind of a bit of a spoilerish thing, is um, maybe Terry Colby goes back to Evil Corp and he's the one responsible for the type of kind of office place, workplace shooting. Or maybe he's a subject of the, the office place sh- uh, shooting. You also have the Dark Army. I think that data, the whole Evil Corp data, whether it's uh, the encrypting of the data and, and containing the keys, whether it gets erased or not, I think that's gonna, what's going to lead up to this, the next season is who possesses the Evil Corp data. Uh, if Evil Corp no longer controls that data, that company is going to fall to the wayside. Um, it's going to cause a global economic collapse because apparently it's this company is so omnipresent um, or omni. I want to say omnipotent, but omnipresent throughout society or throughout the globe, that if something were to happen that, to that company, if it were to go down, um, much like in the essence of the, what happened during the global collapse with Lehman Brothers, there's going to be a significant uh, crash in the economy, which is going to have far dire consequences that not any, not Elliot or anyone in that society could think of. Um, people are going to be hurt, even though their debt has been erased. There, in essence, is also no money in circulation in the economy, in a sense. Not to mention all the people that'll be out of work that used to or once worked for Evil Corp. And the other thing I think is, it's I personally think that Angela is going to take the job offer. I think whatever happens in the season finale, she she is going to accept the position. And one of the theories has been. Um, been bouncing around for a while now um, on the different threads about Mr. Robot is that Elliot's father, because he's such an unreliable narrative and the way that through the flashbacks that we've seen about his mother talking about Elliot's father, that maybe Elliot's father didn't die from cancer, that maybe he committed suicide, uh, that maybe Elliot's father was one of the executives uh, in that board meeting that made the decision to cover it up and he was racked by guilt from the whole thing. That perhaps maybe he uh, ended his life early, um, committed suicide, or just in general, he participated in that board meeting. And because Elliot's father may have participated in that board meeting, Angela's going to find this out and she's going to join Evil Corp as a kind of a visceral reaction to the fact that her best friend's father is responsible for her mother's death. Um, she may in fact blame Elliot in sense from he might have known about this and keeping that secret from her. Um, because right now she doesn't completely trust Elliot because he has been keeping secret secrets. He hasn't been as open with her. There's been strange things going on. And the fact that Darlene, even though she, her and Darlene have been friends, her uh, she doesn't understand the, the reason why Elliot and Darlene have been hanging out together. She kind of also blames Darlene in sense for Elliot's uh, spiral out, spiraling out again. Um, so there's there's that possibility. The other possibility I think that could happen is that uh, in some fashion or form, maybe Elliot gets caught because right now only um, the only person who is known by anyone and everyone um, by all state, which is Gideon and. Tyler Wellick is that Elliot is F society. He could be caught for whatever the hack is, whether it's actually encrypting and deleting the data or encrypting the data and the data is encrypted and nobody can unencrypt it and being held hostage, whether it be for on um, part of Dark Army's part for blackmailing Evil Corp to pay them X amount of dollars to get their data back or uh, just a, a, a race to get to that data that uh, Elliot could get caught. Maybe Tyler Wellick because it's been revealed that he basically worships the cult, the company that is Evil Corp. He believes that it's his rightful place to be within that organization and being on top of it, that he is the best candidate and best employee they have ever had, basically, and that he could be, betray F-Society in some fashion 
and Elliot could, in, in essence, get caught. Maybe the hack still continues on, but Elliot, in some fashion, can be blamed for it. Or because Elliot allowed Tyler Wellick to to be in on the plan, Tyler Wellick could be blamed for all that is happening. Because after all, he was the right-hand man um, for, Ty, uh, for Terry Colby. Uh, he does have the technical expertise to initiate the hack, even implement um, Terry Colby. That this is all an insider job, and he's the most insider insider there is. Uh, because typically a lot of these these data hacks are insider jobs, particularly ones that are significantly damaging. And because of that, because of that, um, maybe the, the script can get flipped and Tyler Wellick is blamed for everything. You know, maybe Sharon Nolan somehow found out and that's why he murdered her, the whole cover up thing. It might tie up a lot of loose ends for F Society and they can get away for or at least temporarily away scot-free so i'm really looking forward to uh this episode it's supposed to be 75 minutes so almost a good 90 minutes if you include uh commercials i will still be doing the raspberry pi 2 giveaway if you were to um if you have periscope you can either watch it on the web or you can uh download it on the app all you have to do is looking for musings of a shot you know follow me on twitter and I will be uh, not only putting the questions f- on Twitter, the five questions I'll be asking, but I'll be saying them through the Periscope. It's going to be a, a live reaction of the West Coast feed of the show, uh, which starts at 10 p.m. Uh, Wednesday, September 2nd. Uh, basically, all you have to do is uh, answer the five questions using the hashtag uh, Mr. Robot Shy, all one word. Of course, if you know how to use Twitter, that's pretty much what it is. And I will be able to uh, find your username, put your username um, into the little database and using a random generator. Whoever comes up on top is going to be the winner of the Raspberry Pi. For each question you answer correctly, uh, you get one entry. If you are already a member of the uh, Mr. Robot F Society Facebook group, uh, you're already automatically entered. If you like an additional entry, um, all you have to do is uh, go to the F S um, go to Facebook uh, search Mr. Robot uh, is Mr. Robot F Society group IRC group and uh, I will add you on and you can have an additional entry so basically up to six entries or six chances to win this prize I will then uh, DM the winner let them know that they have won uh, make an announcement through the Twitter and the Facebook group letting people know who had won and then I will send the Raspberry Pi to uh, through to the winner through Amazon. Uh, this is also open to international people. Uh, if there's a reason why uh, Amazon's not capable of delivering to you, I will send you the equivalent amount to purchase a Raspberry Pi either through a gift card from a tech-based uh, company within your area or uh, through the usage of Bitcoin. So that's it for this show. Uh, thank you for listening. I look forward to uh, seeing or I should say speaking to you all uh, through Twitter and Periscope on Wednesday. There will be uh, one ad- additional episode uh, after the season finale or I should say two additional episodes after the season finale. Uh, one will be uh, just recapping what the season finale is. And the second one is going to be my expectations for season two. Uh, again, thank you for listening and looking forward to seeing you on Wednesday. This has been a Hiroshima Space Odyssey Network production.